What's going on everybody? Welcome back today. We're gonna be talking about the Hulk Hunter, but primarily focusing on the Stark R&D event and talking about how this event is actually a little bit easier than what we expected, at least for the Stark R&D. I meant to do this video yesterday, but then, uh, well, I got some, uh, I'm going back to school for IT stuff, and apparently my graphics driver decided to implode, and I got some real-life experience with IT, and, uh, yeah, it was a nice little training session, I guess. But, yeah, we're back up and running now. Black Blue Stacks is up and running again. It was a, uh, it was a good time, but the, uh, the whole Hunter is a monthly event we're using to get Abomination. There is some controversy with that. We can talk about that a little bit. But tonight we're going to prim primarily be focusing on the Stark R&D Blitz event. This is a whole lot easier than we originally thought it was going to be because of how these points are calculated. Uh, before, yeah, the points were calculated like if you had a Bionic Avenger at, let's say, Tier 15, it would give you the 40,000 points. Before, it would. But now it's a cumulative thing. So now, for each gear tier that you go up here, you're getting the points on the previous gear tiers as well. And this allows you to very easily clear the Blitz events as long as you build up your Bionic Avengers. And honestly, there's no reason not to because they're, hands down, they're your tech raid team. They are an incredible team, even outside of raids. You're going to need them for the Death Horsemen uh, this is the team you should be building up anyways. There's no other like tech team that's really taking gear away from these guys. So you need to be building up this team. And if the more you build them up, the easier you're going to get to clearing this. And right now, for me, I have three Bionic Avengers at tier 16, and I have two at tier 15. So you can see I've got four and a half million points right now. I'm just going to show you what happens. We're going to do a bunch of back-to-back -back Blitz Sims with... Our Bionic Avengers. We're exactly at 4.5 million right now. Let's see what happens when we do several Blitz Sims back to back. I'm going to look like an idiot and I'm going to lose every single one of these. Just watch. So there's one. You can see we're already we're already uh, getting the milestones complete down here. Uh, yeah, let's go with Symbiotes. Two. We're just kind of, I'm just showing you guys, like, this is how easy it is to, look, give me Symbiotes again. Here's three, and we're going to get one more attack in, I think, before it goes to 50 Blitz Energy. Uh, you don't want Doom. Uh, Guardians? Yeah, let's go Guardians. Alright, so this is going to be four Blitz Sims right here. Alright. So, let's go Let's go look at how much. We're at exactly 4.5 before. We're now at 8.2. So, just in four Blitz Sims with that Bionic Avengers team... I gained almost four and a half million points. Um, like it's actually no, it was about four or no, it was uh, sorry, not four and a half million. My math's off. We're talking like three point eight million points there. So it's the more you build up your Bionic Avengers, you're gonna be fine. And if you do at least thirty-five Blitz wins each rotation, you're adding about another one point two. Oh my gosh, I did this math earlier, and I completely forgot. Yeah, because it's 35 wins, and you get 50,000 points per win. 1.75. So you're getting almost 2 million points per rotation. And here's the beauty of it. You only need to get up to milestone 29. Anything beyond that is gravy. Milestone 29 is what gives you the Imperfect Serum, which you need for the monthly event, but more importantly, you get teal augmented gamma radiation. This is a huge deal because number one, two of your gamma characters require it in Hulk and Abomination. May even need it for Red Hulk, but also you may need it on some of your Bionic Avengers if you ever want to take those to tier 16 in the future. So, I mean, obviously you want to use these for your gamma characters first, but if you ever want to take those, uh, you want to take the next step on your Bionic Avengers, well, there you go. And look at that. We've now gone up quite a bit. So we also got almost 6,000 points from this. Actually, we got a little over 6,000 from completing this Blitz event, getting up to Milestone 29, gaining that 8 million points. So like four Blitz rotations very easily will get you to what you need every day. If you have your Bionic Avengers built up even more, well, it's going to be even easier. And if you want to push for 15 million points on this, you get some 2.4 uh, blue ions you get a decent chunk of elite 5 orb and you get a couple of like catalysts and stuff here 
But, you know, this is all, like, if you need to get it, you need to get it. It's fine. Like, you can push for it, but, I mean, these are tier 16 uniques. I have I have quite a few of these are these are already pre-crafted on a bunch of my characters, so I have a lot more than what I'm showing there. Like I I should have about about 160 of these as well, but I was doing pre-crafting and stuff, so um yeah, like this event overall, not bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. When we saw these points, we were doing the math, we we're like, oh god, there is no way. Like you're gonna blitz your butt off to get this done. But even with like tier 14 bionic avengers like this is not going to be this is really not going to be that hard to do so really nothing to worry about there we do have this ranking leaderboard as well i'm not really worried about this um you could if you want to buy the offers there's probably gonna be a lot of people buying offers i mean obviously the teal gamma uniques are a big deal because you know they're kind of uh they're kind of in high demand right now between Bionic Avengers and Gamma, you really want these these Gamma Radiations. Um, also, I mean, Rav Ravager Stitcher. Why don't you want to take Ravager Stitcher up, too, while you're at it? Uh, and Minerva. Uh, but, um, but, yeah, I mean, if you want to push for it, go for it. But I'm not going to. I wouldn't really worry about it. I'm hoping... I, I, this does leave me a little worried here. I'm hoping, like, they're not calculating this and then completing the monthly event. But, um, you know what? You let your Krakens have those top 100 spots. Possibly in the top 1%. See what you can do about the rest of them. Do your rotations. Do whatever you need. You'll get in there. But let's also talk about the Hulk Hunter event. Because there is some concerns here. Number one. Uh, there are no dark promotion credits in here. And as far as we can tell. There is no other place. In the uh, in the game. Like in monthly events. That are making up for these. Um, there is concern about. The. Um. The gold missing from the login calendar. We don't know if they are making up for that in other monthly events. I'm hoping they are, but we have no official word on that yet. But we'll see what they do with that. And um, also, it should be noted here, we're getting a lot of mutant teal origin gear in here and uniques. Uh, pretty much heavily implying that we're going to have a mutant horseman for that death, that death spot. Probably going to be Archangel. We'll see what happens there. Hopefully, it's... It's like, I hope it's like an Excalibur team at this point with Archangel. They bring in like Jubilee and Beast. See what we get with that team. But um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely confirming that we're going to get some kind of mutant team for that month, uh, for that final horseman. But uh, also one other thing that needs to be mentioned is these Goliath, these Gamma Goliath or fragments. Now, if you're doing your, your, uh, your monthly or sorry, your daily logins, and your milestones, you should be getting Hulk Hunter Gamma Booster. What you want to do for this is basically just Blitz. When you Blitz with any character, you get 50 points. All you have to do is win a single Blitz battle with any character, and you're going to clear this pretty easily. And if you do that, you get 250 Gamma Goliath Orb Fragments each day. You get 2,200 Infected Cells or Mutated Cells, and then you get half a Gold Orb, half a Train Orb, and 500 Elite Four Credits. So this will be going on, I'd have to assume, at least for the rest of the Stark R&D event. Maybe even longer, we'll see. But, um, you know, those Goliath or Fragments. And from what I can tell, the math is that you're going to get 27 of the... Get out of here. 27 of these orbs throughout the month. The problem is that... There is a decent chance, not a decent chance, there is a small chance that you're only going to pull two shards of abomination each time. Meaning that if you pull open all 27 orbs and you only get two shards each time, that leaves you at 54 shards of abomination, which means you cannot unlock this character. Now, they're, I think they're averaging the math. They're saying the average pull is going to be about five shards per orb which would give you a hundred some odd shards probably of him. But, um, you know, this is an issue and it has been brought up by a few different content creators. I hammered it again to Archangel tonight is that, um, this could very well be an issue and hopefully they're going to monitor it. And hopefully we do not see any players get stuck where they complete all the monthly events. They do everything right and they still can't unlock abomination. 
I'm hoping that is not the case. If it is the case, it is very much on Scopely to get that fixed. And hopefully we do not have this issue again. This was something that people were very confused as to like, why, why give the orbs in the monthly event? Why not just give us the hard shards? of of uh, abomination like we did before like don't give us these don't give us these orbs give us just normal shards of abomination and we'll we'll see i hopefully they don't do this again um i'm really hoping they don't but i have a feeling a lot of people are going to be panic buying abomination offers because of the chance that you don't unlock abomination scope is going to see a bunch of money from that and you know business that business ethics is going to go out the door and they're just going to you know, throw uh, throw more events like this. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully we don't see this again. But there's nothing really else to say right now. Are the Stark R and D? As long as you have your Bionic Avengers built up, you're good to go on that event. Don't really worry about it. Don't really worry about the ranking event for this. Do what you can. If you want to blitz hard for it, go for it. But you know, it's it's not going to be a huge loss if you don't get a high ranking on it. You'll get you'll get plenty of teal gamma uniques through the Blitz store and the sorry the War store and the Crucible store. I wouldn't worry about it. And just make sure you're doing your uh, your daily milestones on the web store to get the whole country infected or mutated cells. Keep saying infected, but mutated cells and get your gamma Goliath orb fragments. So let me know down what you guys think down below. What do you guys think of this event so far? Are you more positive on the Stark R and D event than you were initially? Let me know what you guys think overall. As always, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure that like button, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.